kind of <laughs> kind of weird. We're distorted. This is our first I, video ever. I know, you gotta get all the videos of him. Maybe yeah. not if we post that other one. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, um, who's he talking to? Parker. 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 Oh yeah, Parker's here, isn't he? Yeah. He got his wisdom teeth. Right? Yeah, he got his wisdom teeth unwised, bro. Um, no, but we are we're doing coilovers today on two cars, in fact. Yeah, it's making sure. Like sounds like you're talking to somebody on the phone. Where's the thing at, bro? What thing? It's e packed. Yeah. That? That's not e packed. No, it's not. Why don't you find some. You use this as an impact? That's the impact, bro. I don't wear it, boy. It's, a, it's an electric impact. It is worth it. Listen. Out, that sounds like an impact to me. Bro, so. you're gonna destroy that thing. Oh, yeah, it's Connor. It's Connor. It's Connor. Connor just freaking Connor. pulled up. Connor. <laughs> 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 you need exhaust. Anything cross started three or lug bolts. It's not. It's not. Someone's got a washer, bro. Okay, so like, stop fucking collapsing. Watch it. Oh, you got BC too? I did. BC PR. Yes, sir. Like, you get custom spring rates? Dog. Um. I just got done. Wow. Do you actually cross thread the bolts? No, I Okay, good. I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna walk away from all the chaos. How you doing? I'm bearing gifts. Bit gifts? Gifts. Oh, thanks. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Everyone, this is Connor. Hello. Hey. This is the first distorted vlog. I just got my We're trying at least. <laughs> Yeah, so we're putting coilovers on two cars. Christian's BMW and Mari's GTI. Um, but, what's up? This guy's wisdom teeth pulled. <laughs> Parker just got his wisdom teeth pulled and he showed up. <laughs> alright, well we're getting, alright, well we're gonna try to take these coilovers off. Cause well we can't because Connor brought the wrong tools. That was me. <laughs> but to take the coilover out, you have to pull out the... What are you filming here? Tutorial video? Huh? I'm what filming a vlog, bro. Bro, hey, what's up? What's up? Yeah, but pull that off. We gotta pull the CV axle out. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to get started. So we'll get going. We ran into our first issue. Um, I'll let Grayson explain. Hey, what's up, guys? Grayson here to explain the joke. So basically... <laughs> um, in the video I watched, and probably on the newer GTIs, this corner here can just fold up, but on this older GTI, it's a 2015 Mark 7. Um, the, right, you have to take the whole plastic piece off. Update: We have an Amish. No, we do. <laughs> so update: We figured out um, you can actually just move this up enough to take them out without actually having. Oh, food. these are with the coilovers. Yeah. That's what no, I'm I didn't know that. Yeah, that's where the coilovers are. Hey, look, look, look. This is an inf this is an educational video, right? All right. These are where the coilovers are. This is where the top three bolts are now. So <laughs> this is horrible. Yeah. Anyway, so then, so we could just bend I'm, this. You could just bend this up and take them out. You and on this side, you have to use some more force, but you can bend it up. Yeah, more. exactly. So we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be being chilling. Uh, where's the um little clip for that side? Me and when, All right. Me and when the lug bolts are tied to a billion pounds of torque. Literally. Um. Literally, bro. So whoever put these wheels on last yeah, better, I mean, better took an impact and put it at max you know, torque, and then. Torqued them on. So keep in mind, I can bench press like 300 pounds. Torque and torque. Yeah, Grayson. Grayson's a strong boy, and he's struggling with these. Bro. So. Guys, keep in mind, I'm 230 pounds body weight. I can bench press almost 300 pounds and squat over 400, and I can't get this off without a breaker bar. So, um, update. Don't over torque your um. Use a torque wrench. Okay. Spend a hundred. Spend a hundred dollars. Spend the money. Get a cheaper impact. Spend a hundred dollars on a torque wrench and don't frick up your wheels. Don't be. You need like a triple square socket thing or little, yeah, little 12 point. We don't have that. And so we're going to go ahead and start on the rears, I think, because I don't think we need a special tool. If we do, we're going to kill ourselves. No, we're going to cry. But we're, no, we're going to kill ourselves. No, we're, no, stop. We're gonna kill ourselves. <sighs> Update. Um, no one watched the video on how to install it which means that no one has bought the special tool we need to be able to get the front coilovers out from the control arm. There's a little thing, and you stick it in there, and you twist it, and it'll spread that control arm apart, and no one bought it. No one bought it. It's just, uh, this is normally how projects go around here. Hey, Connor, how you doing? Hey. hey. Connor's just here enjoying everybody. I'm here for emotional support. Yeah, pretty much. But no, he's here to make fun of all of us. That is, maybe. Did you find anything? Not anywhere available. Do not become a car guy.
It's a pain in the butt. You get Amazon. You think we get same day delivery from Amazon? <laughs> Bro. Who shot it? Thursday the 16th. <clears throat> That's definitely not today. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. Sunday the 12th. That'd be the fastest. See, that's what we need. Do you think we could do it with like a screwdriver or something? Uh, you can try. Alright, we're back. I got my food. We Everyone got food. Um, Mari's rear coilovers are in. What? Do you want to go and put the fender liner in? I gotta eat my food, bro. Oh, he's vlogging. Could right, you... Juan, uh, would you like to put the fender liner in, please? No. You get to. Connor? You were just complaining about me not telling you what to do, and now I'm telling you what to do. And you it's not my car. See, that's not See? Alright, do that again. Alright, bet, go. Damn! What's that? Okay, well, anyway, update. Everyone has food, and we're all happy again. No, we're not. No, we're not. Yeah, it goes on the There's literally car parts everywhere on the road. Oh, look, let's look, look at this. Yeah. BC Racing. BR Series. BR. How do you feel? Uh, mixed emotions right now. I got you. Just because, you know, we, we can get the back done. Possibly not the front. But... Look, one's in the van. How do you feel? Oh, yeah. so, there it is. Ryan, you right, found it. Yeah. I found it. I found it right spot. I'm just going to make sure. Okay. Uh, huh? <laughs> what? Turn around, Grace. Turn around. 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 Um, so yeah, um, we needed this special tool, unfortunately, to do the fronts, um, to spread the... Spread the cheeks? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could call him that. But the, the thing, cause it's a, cause it's, the strut goes down into the thing, and we need that to spread the... Connor would know, he did coilovers on his GTA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wink, wink. It was like 2.30, 2.32. Yeah, you're about due for an oil change then. I've done one coilover, actually. This is the first one. Look at that, bro. This thing's gonna look really good. And Mari, I think Mari's gonna be a happy customer. Happy customer in the store to garage. You owe us four thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, wait till he gets the cost, though. Right, yeah. Hey guys, it's it's day two of of Mari's coilover install. We're in our garage. And uh, quote unquote day two. Quote unquote day two. Mari is so happy to get this done. Week two of the install. Um, that's exactly one week, but day two. So we're getting the front ones. We have everything we need, right? Is that the specialty tool? Yeah. That's right. So we just bought a whole set. Yeah, bro. That's pretty good because you're actually going to have It's like in this log like that. So you stick it in there like that and then you turn it and it'll spread it apart. And there's a hole. Oh, so that's it. Yeah. Well, we're getting on it. I may just record the process of taking off the one side and then just time lapse the other side. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, but other than that, uh, it should be pretty simple. Sway bar link, um, bolt to uh, uh, loosen the, uh, um, the like control arm, I guess. I think that basically the tube that it holds it and uh, three bolts on top. Oh, let's go. And then that should be it. Not going as fast as I would would have hoped it would, but I was helping. Average distorted activities. I just jacked up. Yeah. It's okay. You can always get another one. MSW. Hey. See, can I have a different? Like not different, but you all like stepping in. 
Alright, come on, let's get it's out of here. Stinkies, bro. <laughs> walk, walk. Wait, y'all don't think that's through. What the frick are we supposed to do now? Drop it, bro. Drop that hoe. I can't. There's a brake line and a tie rod. What do you mean tie rod? Tie rod! Steering! Yeah. Update! Strut is out! New strut going in! Look! It, it goes like this. It literally goes like this. Dude, the top just twists no, around. It's like, bro. listen. Oh, does it? Because when I pulled, this is, this was, hold on. This was facing the front? Yep. Dude, they labeled them wrong. Never order from BC Racing ever again because they always have issues. His coilovers are labeled wrong, and my uh, we have never. My lock rings. This is literally we have ordered four sets of BC Racing. I, I, love, I love how in the beginning we're like maybe we can get sponsored by BC Racing because we all got BC Racing. <laughs> never order from BC Racing. <laughs> saying, the label was flipped or uh, well I don't know we may just be dumb. No, I have to go. No, because it, it, it stops. Yeah, it stops. Yeah, it's got that ring on it. Look, it's in. Got it. Look. It's in! Wait, Wait, we gotta make sure the bolt goes all the way. Alright, we'll come back. We got one side in. Got the driver's side in. Um, we still have to put in the sway bar link. And attach it to the sway bar. Um, and now we're working on the other side. We had a little bit of trouble where the... Uh, so basically, on the struts, they're not. They don't have studs. They have like these little, these little nuts on them, and then there's bolts that'll go down through the top. Well, so on the other side, one of the bolts got free, so then it was just fitting the bolt and the nut and not loosening anything. So we had a mixture of, and we ended up just breaking the bolt. So we ended up trying, just trying to um basically get like a wrench up in there and hold the nut while we impacted it and it would work but then we couldn't get it so the grace was like all right well i'm just gonna sawzle it well so he got about halfway through and i was like we'll just impact it off and then break it and so we broke it so that's what we're at but now we're getting this dry out it's like <sighs> i can't believe you bro i know Right, we're Are you getting that? Are you right, getting that? Grind it. We're just saying we'll grind it. Look. Hang on, he's getting there. Blow wall, blow wall. Ah! Watch out! Oh! 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 Oh!
We're almost done. We're putting the wheels back on. Um, and then we're going to go take it for a test drive. Grayson, Grayson, get the, get the pry bar. On you. Pry bar. Here, Mari. I'm so ready to get food. Yeah, look, look at that. that. Look at that. Whole lot better. Yep. Whole lot great. Whole that's that. what, two? Every single car in our driveway yeah. besides those two. Every single car in our driveway besides the SUVs are on BC Coil. We started at 9.45. It's now 2.30. Yeah, that's six hours. For fronts, That's for two, bro. Yeah, dude. Imagine if we did this all winter. Moral of the story, don't hire us to put coilovers in. Moral of the story? Uh, Unless it's a Toyota, it really then we could do. It wasn't that bad until we hit that side. Yeah. Because that's the we, side that we had the issue. got stuck right there for an hour. At that least. An hour, hour and a half, issue. probably. Dude, we, would, we wouldn't have been done around one, I think. Well, we didn't start at No, we did not we start at 9.30. Yeah, because you, you were... I got home at 9.45. I got home at 9.45. We didn't start till like 10. Yeah, we didn't, yeah, we didn't, we didn't start till 10. No. I got home at 9.45. Mario was standing outside on our front porch. You should have just gone inside, bro. It was cold out. Yeah, if you had gone inside, the door was open. Yeah. All right, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, distorted.tn. Um, and we have a TikTok, too. That kind of is kind of on and off. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys.